Are you in need of new rope on your boat, but you're not sure which rope to put in which place on the boat? Well, look no further. We're going to have a look at what rope to put on your boat. Woohoo! Hello, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. And today we are going to look at what ropes you should be using on your boat. Uh, in some places there are a few choices uh, of what rope is appropriate and what this will usually come down to is how much money you want to spend on the rope. Uh, the more expensive ropes are generally lighter, they don't stretch as much and uh, they can last longer as well so this is something to consider. Also uh, with the main sheet especially it's very much a personal preference, the diameter of the main sheet. So when you're looking at ordering new ropes, get a few samples so that you can try out some different ropes and diameters before you um, work out which size it is you're most comfortable with. So first, we're just gonna take a look at the different ropes which we're going to use. So we're gonna start off by looking at the shock cord. We'll be using this for the trapeze elastic and anywhere else where you might need five mil shock cord. Um, it's just five mil shock cord in whatever color you want and this stuff stretches. This is pretty standard. Next we have a five mil rope with a polyester core. The polyester core does stretch more than the Dyneema core but it's a lot cheaper. So for things like the main halyard on your 16 or your F18 where the rope isn't actually taking any strain while you're sailing you're better off using a rope with a polyester core which isn't uh, so expensive. Also um, this kind of rope has this hard wearing cover which means it's less likely to wear out because it's got a cover on it. So this is a 5 mil evolution performance rope so in a place where you absolutely can't have any stretch which would be for example the jib halyard on your hobie 16 or the spinnaker tack line on your tiger or f18 or tornado then you want to be using a rope which has a hard a hard wearing outer but with a dyneema core so this is the dyneema core that runs inside this is extremely low stretch, very strong, and that is what you need, especially in those areas. This will be more expensive than one with a polyester core, but you do need to have that Dyneema core for those applications. And then this is an eight plat pre-stretched rope. Um, this can be used basically anywhere where a five mil Evo performance, like with the uh, polyester core, could be used. Uh, this is an alternative if you prefer the feel of this kind of rope. The amount of stretch and breaking strain will be quite similar with this rope as will be the price. Now we're into something quite exotic. This is the Maffioli Swift Cord, uh, which is a Dyneema based rope. Uh, it doesn't generate as much heat as the polyester rope, which makes it absolutely ideal for your spinnaker halyard. It is quite expensive, but if you don't want lots of little burn holes in your spinnaker, this is, in my opinion, the best choice. Five mil Maffioli Swift Cord, available in a range of colors, such as pink. And then for certain applications, such as trampoline lacing on a tiger, or the jib halyard on a tiger, this is Dyneema. Um, which doesn't have a hard wearing outer because in those applications where the rope isn't running around something hard or abrasive it doesn't need the hard outer. This rope is extremely easy to splice and extremely strong and it's got a very very low amount of stretch which makes it perfect in those applications. It is quite expensive but for your tramp lacing on your Tiger especially well worth the investment. Uh, you can also use this kind of Dyneema for your trapeze lines. If um, you don't want to be using wire, you can use the rope, the Dyneema SK 
78, I believe, is the industry standard here. And then for sheet options, this could be for your mainsail jib or spinnaker sheet. The cheaper option, um, this is called Evolution Sheet. And this has got a polyester core. It's quite inexpensive. Uh, comes in a range of colors and sizes. Like I said at the start, do get a sample or um, try out some different sizes to see what fits nicely in your hand. Um, but that is a cheap option. If you're running a slightly higher budget, then uh, the Maffioli Swift Cord in the larger sizes makes for an excellent main jib or spinnaker sheet on your boat. It's a lot lighter rope, uh, lower stretch, and it does look a bit sexier. I think you'll agree. This is a quite an old piece of main sheet because I haven't got any new stuff in stock. Okay, so we're going to start off looking at the Hobie 16. And we'll start off with our main sheet. So what we're using is uh, Maffioli Swift cord here. Um, you can, somewhere between eight and 10 mil is a good diameter to go for. And that needs to be about 10 meters long. And then if we go on to the jib sheet, here we're using, um, from Kingfisher ropes, we're using Evolution sheet but you could use Maffioli Swift cord here as well. And that needs to be 10 and a half meters long and a diameter of six millimeters is good just there. Moving on to the main halyard. Um, this doesn't need to be a particularly high quality rope, um, either the eight plat pre-stretched or the uh, Evolution Performance rope, which has the polyester core will be adequate here, but you want about five mil there. And then the jib halyard, this does need to be of a high quality because of the stretch. So the jib halyard needs to be um, either uh, the Evolution Race with the Dyneema core from Kingfisher Ropes, or you could, if you didn't have that available and you wanted to use a polyester core, then going up a size, so a six mil, evolution performance type rope would be good for that then moving on to the downhaul um, because there's not a great amount of stretch on the downhaul rope because of the purchase there we can use um, evolution performance rope which has the polyester core of course the Dyneema core would be better but it is more expensive and on our boats, we're using three meters 70 of five mil on there. And then for the outhaul, two meters 80, same stuff. Don't talk much about the outhaul. And then for your trampoline lacing, you could use pretty much anything there. Um, the lengths that you're wanting to look at is uh, seven meters for the middle and two times four meter lengths at the back. But anything four mil or five mil, you could even do six. It's up to you, it's your choice. But we'd go five mil of an Evolution Performance type rope on the 16. And then the trapeze shock cord will be the five mil shock cord. And then the way that we're routing our boats is the Helms shock cord is just going straight across to the other side. The cruise shock cord is going through the hole in the trampoline round the dolphin striker to the other side, which actually means that the crew shot cord two meters 90, the helm shot cord 240. That is the time at, uh, that is the time. Okay, so that's the Hobie 16, all of the ropes. Uh, watch till the end and there'll be a rope length and size matrix. So you can uh, just pause that at the end and that will show you all the different sizes and lengths that you need. You could screenshot that and put it on the wall in your bathroom. Okay, so moving on to the Hobie Tiger. Okay, we'll just, uh, there's quite a lot on here. So we'll go through this fairly All right, so 
main sheet will be 14 meters, eight to 10 mil, either evolution sheet, rope or Maffioli swift cord. I'm actually reading this out of a book, uh, incidentally. Um, the jib sheet on the Tiger will be quite narrow um, and you can go five or six mil, um, but this wants to be of a low stretch. So we're using here Evolution Race with the Dyneema core. The main halyard, once again, low stretch because it's not being used while we're sailing. Um, so we're just using the Evolution Performance five mil and that is 18 meters on the Tiger. Uh, the jib halyard, now for the jib halyard, we're gonna be using some of this Dyneema without the outer on it. If you've got a wire jib halyard, then all you need to use is what we call a lazy line, which is the rope that we take off once the jib is up. But if you want to replace the whole thing, then two and a half mil Dyneema for the jib halyard, and that'll be six meters, and then you'll take a further six meters of something cheap with a polyester core, about two mil, to pull the sail up and then take that off while the boat is being used. Uh, check out the video on how to hoist a Tiger jib for more information there. Okay, continuing. The downhaul, we're using, here is the downhaul rope, thank you. We're using the Evolution Race with a Dyneema core on the downhaul, five mil, nine meters, 50. And then moving round to the trampoline lacing. Trampoline lacing, we're going three mil Dyneema SK78. Rig 12 is the name from Kingfisher Ropes, who we're using here. Um, and uh, that's three meters 60 for the back on the Tiger. And then for the sides, we're not actually using it on this one. Um, the sides, we're gonna use the Dyneema, but five mil of the same stuff, SK78 Dyneema there. Um, and then onto the spinnaker system, the spinnaker halyard uh, wants to be, this is a personal preference thing, but I should start like with all your ropes, start off with rope longer than you think you're gonna need it. And then that means you can cut a bit off if it is too long. Uh, which is better than buying rope, which is like a meter too short, which would be very annoying. So for the spinnaker halyard, we're using the Maffioli Swift Cord 5 mil. I would say that is one place where it is essential to spend the money on the good rope to save your spinnaker. And then the spinnaker sheets, you could go anywhere between six and eight mil on the spinnaker sheets. Here, we're just using the Evolution Performance with the polyester core, or you could use some Swift cord or something similar there as well, uh, which would be a bit lighter, probably a bit nicer in the hands. And then finally, for the tack line, which goes to the tack of the spinnaker, you could go two ways here. You could either go five mil Evolution Race with the Dyneema core, or a similar rope with a Dyneema core, or you could go up, uh, like we did with the jib halyard on the 16, you could go up a size, so six mil, and then you'd be all right to have the polyester core there for a similar amount of low stretch. Um, I've done a lot of the work for you, actually, if you're looking to replace your ropes. If you're in the UK or Europe, I've put in the description below a link to where um, there's Andrew there who's actually a tornado sailor and he knows exactly what rope you need so just head over there it's in the uh, description below or if you're in the US or the rest of the world then you could check out I've made a ropes page on my Amazon storefront where I found all the ropes that you need for your boats that almost rhymes um, so just check out that link there and then if you buy the rope through the link, which is exactly the same price as if you bought it any other way on Amazon, um, it means I get a small percentage, which is really nice for me. It's a good way that you can support the channel if you like what I'm doing here. So do check out that link in 
the description below. But once again, thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. I'm sure this is gonna unleash an absolute torrent of comments about what ropes you're all liking to use on your boat. Um, this is just what we happen to be using here at Wildwind. I've been mentioning the Kingfisher brand ropes. That's just because that's what we're using and what are being supplied in the links that I've uh, put there. But obviously other ropes of a similar specification are available from all different manufacturers. Uh, two things just to recommend on the lengths of the rope go a little bit longer than I've stated. So then you can cut it down if it's too long. And also with brand new rope, it does generally have a bit of a waxy coating. So it's worth giving it a good wash before you put it on your boat, uh, maybe with some uh, soap or what has been recommended is using a pressure washer. But just a bit of soap would do, give them a really good wash and then the rope won't be quite as slippery when it's new. Okay, but now you can check out the uh, rope size and length matrix which I've provided below. So check out that bad boy if you do want to support the channel. Uh, there's many ways to do so, just check out the description below. Otherwise, please uh, subscribe to Joyrider TV for more great stuff like this coming from Wild Wind in Vasiliki in Greece. And here's some rope. Yeah, rope.